Welcome back fellow problem solvers, John East here. So geometry, geometry, geometry. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Practice, practice, practice. And that's what we're going to do now. Practice, practice and practice. Enjoy. Welcome back fellow problem solvers. So geometry of straight lines. This is our last um, video on this topic for now. So some examples on how to solve problems with these concepts. So number one, you will notice they color coded. So the red diagram is number one, blue is number two, green is number three, and black is number four. So we're going to stick with that. So solve for the unknown. That's a question. You can see here that's a 4x and that's a 120. Okay, so you will be very quick to identify, hopefully here, that we've got alternating angles. Now, remember, these two are alternating angles, right? But keep in mind, the other two, the 120 and the 4x, are also alternating angle, angles because of the parallel lines. So that's what we are going to use. We, are, we will be able to make a statement by saying 4x is equal to 120. Remember now with geometry, I'm making a statement, therefore I have to give a reason. So what is our reason here? We will say alternating angles. Why can we say alternating angles? Because we've got parallel lines. You say AB parallel to DC. Now the next step is just to do the calculations of 4x. Uh, 120, so we are dividing by 4 on both sides. Therefore, x is equal to 30. And that's our first question done. Let's look at number 2. Over here, we are using the x factor in our mathematics, right? Vertically opposite. You can clearly see there that the 5x and the 55 are vertically opposite in this um, problem. So again, we're making a statement. We're saying 5x is equal to 55. And because we made a statement, we have to state the reason. So what is our reason? We say vertically opposite. And over here, there's no parallel lines being um, playing, having a factor over here. So we're not going to state that. So 5x divided by 5 is equal to x. And 55 divided by 5 is equal to 11 degrees. And that's our final answer for number 2. Let's look at number 3. Number 3, we've got angles in a straight line. You can see that right there. We have at least one 90 degree angle indicated. But because it's angles in a straight line, we know the other two added together will also be equal to 90 degrees. But I'm going to stick to the straight line, angles in a straight line reason. So I'm just going to say that y plus y plus 90. So those are these angles. y plus y plus 90 will be equal to what? 180 degrees. Why can we make that statement? What's our reason? We're going to say angles on a straight line. Now we just need to do the calculation. So on the left hand side we know this will add up to 2y. We are subtracting the 90. Remember we are subtracting it on both sides. And that's why our statement will look as follows. It will look like a 2y equals 180 minus 90, which is equal to 90. So 2y equals 90 degrees. And if we divide by 2 on both sides, we know y will be equal to 45 degrees. The last question, our last um, example, will be this one in black. You can clearly see here we've got a revolution, so it's angles all the way around. But remember, we do not have the information about these two angles, so that's not going to help us. So over here, 
have a look at what we have over here. We've got a straight line. And we've got another straight line from here all the way to there. And if you can look at those straight lines, can you see that we have vertically opposite line um, angles yet again? So over here, we can make our statement and say 120 is equal to x plus 30 plus 2x. Why can we make that statement? Because of our reason being uh, vertically opposite angles. And then from there on it's just our simplification. So over here we've got an x plus a 2x is equal to 3x plus 30. On the left hand side we've got 120. Now we are taking the 30 across by subtracting it on both sides. So on the left hand side we have 120 minus 30. So that means we've got 90 on the left hand side. The right hand side we've got 3x. Now we are dividing by 3. Both sides. So x is equal to 90 divided by 3. And that is equal to 30. So hopefully these examples will help you. Just to build your confidence in doing these calculations, go and practice them, it's to your benefit. Have a lovely day.